Death Pete here, and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand got sent in to me by Craig73. Now, it's a hand where he bid to a Grand Slam in a competitive auction, and the opponents led an ace against it. And he, he wanted to highlight the point that leading aces against Grand Slams isn't all that's cracked up to be. This hand doesn't quite illustrate that, but I think it's got a few useful points. So let's jump in and have a look. So here's the hand, and... Uh, he was sitting south for the bidding and then switched to north. So the bidding went uh, pass by north, three hearts, double, four hearts, pass, pass, double, pass five diamonds, pass five hearts, pass six diamonds, pass seven diamonds. Okay, so a few things I wanted to mention about the bidding. So first of all, uh, if uh, I'm not sure about the, like I like the five heart bid, but I'm not sure about why he made the five heart bid if he was always going to bid seven diamonds anyway. It seems like partner did like the least optimistic bid they could make. But this sort of leans to me that uh, the, the way the auction panned out, he was like, oh, I really want to bid Grand Slam. So let's see if my partner will bid it. So he bids it uh, five hearts to see if he gets any extra information. He doesn't find any, so then he thinks a bit more about what, what sort of hand he would require to actually bid and make a Grand Slam and then finally decided he should bid it anyway. Um, now, I also am not a huge fan of the robots bidding. Five diamonds and six diamonds. Like, I don't know why they chose diamonds instead of clubs. Or, in fact, I think they could bid four no trumps. I'm not sure if the robots play it, but I would really like to have four no trumps be like, I have two spots to play. Um, like, which minor do you actually want to play in? It's kind of rare that you actually want to bid and make four no trumps in a spot like this, so I think it's better used as two places to play. There are some times you can have four no trumps to actually be a, an offer, but this one doesn't look like one to me. You just sort of pass it out and try and collect your penalty. Uh, so anyway, I think I prefer four no trumps by north of, uh, instead of five diamonds. After partner bids five hearts, like, you don't actually need anything to have bid five diamonds, and they have a ten count. So I think I'd do something other than six diamonds, whether it be six clubs or five no trumps or something. King third heart, complete waste, you'd think. Uh, but I feel like the robot undercooked it, and Craig in South uh, overcooked it. But uh, they got to seven diamonds, and here the robots led the ace of hearts, which meant that he could... I'll just click through the play. He trumped it. He drew trumps. Then after that, he gets to discard a spade on a club. He gets to discard a um, another spade on the king of hearts, but still needs to take the finesse. Now, even if the robot didn't lead the ace of hearts, you would still be able to make it. Um, he just wouldn't draw that extra round of trumps. They would take the spade finesse and trump one. But... I think people often don't interpret uh, the auction um, towards slams very well, where if someone doesn't go via key card, now this isn't an auction where they can go through via key card, but if you if your opponent's bid a slam and they don't use Roman key card, it is extremely likely that they've got a void. And you should be very wary of that when you're considering leading. On this sort of auction, South has to have a void heart. So I'm not a huge fan of leading the Ace of Hearts, but maybe you assume South just has so much of everything else that there's no way it's actually going to matter. Um, so just try it in case they didn't actually have their singleton. But I think the main thing here is when the opponents are bidding slams and they don't use Roman keycard, not that they could in this spot, but you want to be aware of them having a void. If you've preempted so much that they can't use Roman keycard, then maybe you can lead the Ace. But here they've gone out of their way to really highlight that they've got a shortage. And just consider not leading your aces against slams in those types of auctions where you think voids are very likely. As I said, on this hand it didn't matter or not, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.